Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over formula 1.4 of the must know Accuplacer arithmetic formulas. This is under the category whole number operations. The title of this formula is multiplying and dividing whole numbers with different signs. So when multiplying and dividing numbers with different signs, the result is always negative. In the previous presentation we did Formula 1.3, we found out that when you're multiplying and dividing numbers with the same sign, the result is positive. But when the signs are different, the result is always negative. So the rule is as follows, as um, illustrated here. If you're multiplying two numbers with this different signs, let's say a negative times a positive, the sign of the resulting product will be negative. Um, if you're multiplying a positive and negative number, you notice the signs are the same. The sign of the resulting um, product will be negative. Uh, when you're dividing, if you're dividing a negative number by a positive number, the resulting sign will be negative. And when you're dividing a positive number by a negative number, the resulting sign will be negative. So we can see that in all four cases where we're multiplying and um, dividing numbers with different signs, you notice that the sign of the resulting product or quotient is always negative. Alright, let's take a look at two examples that illustrate the usage of some of these rules. The first example, what if you're multiplying negative 3 and positive 6? As you can see, the signs of these two numbers are different. So that should automatically tell you that the sign of the product will be negative. So as you can see, negative 3 times negative 6, the answer is negative 18. Negative sign of the product indicates that the two factors you multiply together have different signs. Okay, uh, and then take a look at number 2. What if you're dividing 25 by negative 5? You can see that 25 is positive since it doesn't have any signs. The default sign is positive and the denominator is negative, negative 5. So when you divide this 2, the quotient is negative. You can see here, dividing numbers with different signs results in a negative quotient. Okay? So that's the uh, formula for how to multiply and divide numbers with different signs. We'd like to know how you think, um, what you think about this presentation. Did you find this rule helpful or easy to master um, concerning the process of multiplying and dividing numbers with different signs? If so, let us know in the comment section below. And um, if you found this presentation helpful, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. We have um, tons of support resources available to you at mathcutserve.com. If you also want to gain access to the remainder of the Mosno formulas for the Accuplacer exam, do visit our site under the Accuplacer section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this um, formula series and also for updates on tutorials that we upload to our site on a daily basis. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.